Hi, this is Heidi and Rod from Garden Crossings, and Rod has done a little bit of the fall transformation so far, but there are a few things that he's just been waiting out on, and that are the sun patients, because they were looking fabulous up until about two nights ago when we finally got a frost here in Michigan. I think it was like October 1st, honestly, and is that late, Rod, for a frost in Michigan, or no. what would you say? No, it can either be between mid-September or mid-October. So I guess it's right in the middle where it's supposed to be. Uh, but really, I mean, the annuals have looked fabulous this year, and it's so hard to pull them out while they're still looking good. But like everything, you know, I'm ready for a change and ready for that full fall look. So he's going to show you today um, what we do to create like a very easy transformation for the fall with the plants that we have planted in the ground. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got going on. So for those of you who have seen our fall transformation in years past, it's been a lot more dramatic when we've had the Supertunia Vista bubble gums, which were just huge and created a big carpet across all this lava rock. Um, this year we tried something new with the sun patients, and so the transformation is not going to be quite as dramatic because we're going to just pull them out of the pot. But what I want to show you is what we do is kind of a ground and ground type of thing. So there is a drip line that goes into every container. So Rod just removed the drip line. And now he's going to go ahead and pull that plant out. Always try. Look at the root system. So it. Well, there's two drip lines in that one. It went out the bottom of that pot and grew into the pot we have in the ground. So you may be wondering why do they have a pot in the ground? Well, by us putting that pot in the ground, it's a placeholder. So basically this way every year we don't need to dig that hole it's just always there and the rocks stay clean so he's going to go ahead and drop this next garden mum in put the drippers in the hardest part and, is just putting the drippers in and voila there we go it's ready for fall so we're going to go ahead and show you this for this whole front little landscape area right here. Onward he goes, and you'll just see how easy it is to do this transformation with this pot in the pot system. We've been doing this for probably about, what would you say, about eight years now? At least eight years. And it's just, it's very much a time saver because you don't have to dig that hole every year. It's so clean because you don't have all the dirt sitting up there in the rocks. Um, there's a little bit of leaves and such from the sun patients, but really it's easy and quick to do the, the changeover. So like I had mentioned, we're putting garden mums here in the ground uh, and we're doing kind of an every other pattern. So there's a kind of a purpley pink color and then is that white or yellow, Rod? It's supposed to be a white. Kind of a white, kind of a, I don't know, white with maybe a little bit of yellow undertones and then um, the purpley pink color again. So three of the purpley pinks and then two of the whites. A couple weeks ago we did all of our aqua pots. We removed those all, brought them all back to the greenhouse and replaced them with the crescent planters. These crescent planters are um, more like a plastic material so they too are self-watering but we don't need to worry about the winter freeze and thaw because they're not um, ceramic or I think. Is that what they're made out of? Ceramic, the aqua pots? No. It's not. Terracotta? Now I'm having a... Ceramic. Yeah, I guess they're ceramic, um, which with a freeze and thaw, thaw here in Michigan, they could potentially crack. So these plastic ones are a nice solution for that. So these will stay out as long as they're still looking good. Um, the frost will hit these too, but these plants can handle and don't look as ugly um, when the frost hits. So there you go, quick transformation. We chose the mums that are just starting to crack color. So we can, when we plant our mums, we do kind of a, let's call it a early mid variety, a mid variety, and then a mid late variety, because we don't want the mums all blooming at the same time, because not everybody wants their color in the same week or two. And yeah, basically that's about it. A week or two is what decides uh, when the certain mums come into color. In this back pot here, you can see we've got a mum that's in full color, and that was because we were ready for just a full instant look, and it's doing beautiful there. The frost probably hasn't touched it because it's kind of under the overhang of the house a little bit, so a little bit more protected. Um, but yeah, really a big splash of color there, and that's eventually what these will look like too, 
probably in the next week, week and a half, we'll have solid masses of the pink and purple color. We also continued it along, he did this earlier, along the front of the house here. And again, did the every other pattern. There's three of them in the front here. That's the Bobo Hydrangea behind it, which has great fall color. And then this is just kind of a little bare spot that he also tucked a few in kind of in that spot as well. A um, few other things, as long as we're in this area, we might as well talk about them. Here is the Proudberry bush, which is a great plant for fall color. One of those beautiful pink berries. It only gets about three, maybe four foot tall and wide. And then behind it is the Quick Fire Hydrangea, which has been beautiful since sometime in July. So just a few little things that we have that are looking nice now for fall, with fall color, but definitely by planting these mums or setting these mums into the landscape, it's just gonna give it that final little splash of fall color that we are looking for. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you are new to our YouTube channel, we welcome you to uh, subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the videos that we do. And I look forward to any questions that you have. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.